So hi dear Libra, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed. Roles, no roles reversed actually. It's uh, for singles only. Sorry. So this is a reading from today till the end of this month and this is for singles only. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Libra. So let's start. I'm going to tap into your current energies. I will see your energies for a new person, new connection. Then I will see your energies for a past person, past connection. Or if you have someone specific on your mind, we will see if they are coming towards you or not and the guidance. So let's start Libra. Overall uh, like energies or current energies, your current energies right now at this present moment Libra. Let's see. We have the eight of cups, the two of swords and the four of pentacles. You are very much closed off when it comes to love and relationship and any kind of uh, happiness or you are still holding on to some kind of grudge or anger or resentment or you are still holding on to this kind of energy of I'm never going to love anybody because it hurts. Because either you are holding on to uh, like holding on to like a specific person or energy to come back around and have reconciliation with you so that you guys can have a relationship again or you are still holding on to some kind of grudges or anger or resentment towards something or someone specific. You are trying your best to move on but at the same time you are holding on to that much of painful kind of energy of resentment or anger or frustration or whatever it is that you are not able to move on even if you are trying too hard. You are trying too hard. Libra, this is the problem. And you are not able to release something that you are holding on to very tightly. You are like this is something that's, uh, that I am never going to forget or I'm, that I am never going to forgive no matter what because it gave me so much of pain. So this is the lesson of my life that I'm never going to forget in my life. So it's very hard for you to move on. And you're trying too hard to move on. You're trying to quick, like uh, do it quickly, as quickly as, as possible. I don't want to deal with crap in my life anymore. I want to fix it. I want to move on. Blah, blah, blah. This, that. And the more you're trying to fix it, the more you're getting in this closed off kind of energies of not able to see what is happening with you. Not able to feel even like what is happening with you. You are emotionally totally closed off. What the hell is wrong with you Libra? I do understand something is going on that's making you feel like this. But you need to resolve it as quickly. Not, It's not going to happen quickly. See? As quickly I mean you should start healing yourself. You should start taking care of yourself as soon as possible. So that it can happen. Slowly is the fastest way to heal yourself. This is this is what you have, need to like remind yourself daily. Let's see what are your energies for a new connection, new situation with these kind of energies. I don't see if uh, somebody new is going to add up in your life very soon. Let's see. We have the seven of swords, the three of uh, pentacles, page of wands. See somebody is coming towards you but this person is already having someone in their life. Beware of this kind of energies who is coming towards you like or trying to present themselves as a single person and they want to collaborate with you, have partnership with you because they are attracted to you in some way, shape or form. Might be this person is just trying to connect with you on like uh, on uh, this level of you know just flirting around, just having fun, just having casual fun with you and uh, this is someone who is already connected to someone in some way, shape or form, associated with someone. For some of you it could be possible that this person is coming out of a like a uh, divorce or something. And they are trying to connect with multiple people at the same time. But they are lying uh, to you uh, like they are single or something. So beware of this kind of energy. I do see someone adding up but at the same time they are not honest. See I told you, you are so closed off. You are angry. You are in resentment kind of energy. You are holding on to grudges and anger. So you are attracting these kind of energies. Now it's not your fault I understand. But this is your responsibility to heal it. Every individual, it's like our individual responsibility to heal us. It's not our fault whatever happened with us. I understand completely but it's our responsibility to heal ourselves right now these kind of energies are coming towards you because you are projecting these kind of energies okay let me flirt around let me just have fun let me just uh, be with someone casually bah yeah that is why it's happening see someone might be very attracted to you someone might uh, be like in this energy of okay let me do something about this attraction even if they have somebody else in their life they are coming towards you with this attraction kind of energy only I don't see genuine connection feeling from this or at all. It's toxic kind of thing. Just make sure they are not lying to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Energy coming towards you very soon in these remaining days of October. Let's see what are your energies for a past person, past connection or if you have someone on your mind that you want to connect with again. Let's see. 
or uh, uh, connect within that manner like love and relationship let's see we have the five of pentacles ace of cups the king of cups tower i do see someone confessing to you here wow wow someone who betrayed you in some way shape or form or you betrayed them in some way shape or form i do see a big consolation kind of energy here out, out of the blue it's like you betrayed them they betrayed you I, there was a betrayal kind of energy there was sense of loss in this connection but i do see something starting again it is especially for those who left each other uh, for some reason or there was some kind of betrayal kind of energy just give me a second so chances of reconciliation with someone you had a fall out with or either you left them or they left you yep yeah out of the blue it's a sudden unexpected kind of reconciliation kind of energy lots of communication lots of overwhelming communication and then starting of a connection let's see the guidance for you guys libra we have the 10 of wands the 3 of cups and the wheel of fortune okay the guidance here is the more you are going to stress about something coming together or coming back together the more you are going to like uh, be like okay i want this i want this i want this the more the universe is going to test your patience here you need to calm down re especially regarding reconciliation or coming back together kind of energy now if i am telling you this is going to ha uh, happen by the end of this month if you are going to be too desperate about it it's not going to happen then you need to let it go you need to be casual you need to be cool about this completely cool like detached then only it will happen it is the rule here can't change it not in my hands yeah so thank you so much for, uh, so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste